when it comes to the best food for weight loss, uh, this also this food can be consumed in a supplement form as well. And, and there are actually in some cases advantages with the supplement as well. Um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how you'd want to use it and what are the you know probably the best sources to get. Uh, and that food is uh, fiber. Uh, now there are different types of fiber. Um, one of my favorites, if you're able to uh, hack it, so to speak, uh, is um, psyllium fiber. Psyllium fiber is a source of soluble fiber. There's soluble and insoluble fiber. Uh, it, now, f this type of fiber is considered a uh, non-fermentable fiber. So, um, there are also what are called fermentable fibers, which are also really, really good. So the reason that uh, uh, you want to consume many different types of fibers is because they all have different health advantages. When it comes to weight loss, um, soluble fiber is like really, really important. Now, there's a few re reasons for this, why it beats out every other food. Uh, number one, it's the lowest in calories for all foods that exist. So in fact, uh, when you look at insoluble fiber, insoluble fiber is uh, essentially in humans is zero calories so when you eat it it's gonna go right through is in other words it has calories locked up in it but our body doesn't have the ability to extract that energy and so it fills up our stomach but then it passes through intact without um, our, us absorbing any calories so that's zero calories for insoluble fiber now soluble fiber works out to be a little closer to two calories and that it means it's still lower than any other food. So, for example, protein, uh, you, it works out to maybe about three, three and a half calories per gram when you factor for uh, dietary thermogenesis. Uh, so fiber still beats out even protein for um, as far as the lowest calorie food. So it's one of those things you want to fill up on. But, but remember, fiber doesn't just help you lose weight by being low in calories. It helps on multiple other levels. So one... Uh, fiber is one of the most anti-inflammatory foods, especially um, fermentable fibers. Fermentable fibers are consumed by gut bacteria and they synthesize from, from that fiber. They synthesize compounds that we reabsorb that lower inflammation. So for example, one of those is called butyrate. When you eat fermentable fibers, your gut bacteria pump out butyrate, you absorb it into your system, it squelches inflammation, improves blood sugar regulation, um, mood, all sorts of benefits. Uh, one study on psyllium fiber showed that it actually activated genes that increase fat burning. So another cool little thing about psyllium fiber is it, it somehow actually kicks on from, a, you might have heard of, there's genetics, but there's epigenetics. This is how our diet and lifestyle influence our genes. Something about fiber actually kicks on or activates genes that help our body burn more fat. Another thing we know is that fiber, particularly soluble fiber, binds to substances like bile and steroid hormones and helps excrete them safely from the body before they can be synthesized into compounds that are dangerous for our health. So bile, for example, that's not reabsorbed um, that travels or bile acids that travel into the gut can be synthesized into compounds that damage the lining of our colon. Steroid hormones can increase the risk of certain cancers, particularly breast cancer uh, in women. Fiber binds to these things and prevents them from causing harm and excretes them safely out of the body. So uh, now there's another cool thing with bile is since bile is made from cholesterol, when we have high cholesterol and we consume a high fiber diet, we can potentially lower our cholesterol naturally without the use of necessarily having to use statins and things like this. Uh, because what happens is, is, is that bile ends up getting escorted out of the body with that fiber rather than being reabsorbed. So now the body says, I gotta make more bile. Oh, where am I gonna get that from? I guess I gotta go use up some of my own stored cholesterol to do that. So our cholesterol levels can come down. So a high fiber diet is gonna help lower, even help with lowering our cholesterol. So you can see we have protection against certain cancers, we got lowering of cholesterol, we got lowering of inflammation. We also have uh, fiber is, uh, helps lower the glycemic effect of a meal. So it lowers, helps manage uh, stable blood sugar regulation. So when you're eating 
high fiber foods throughout the day and or strategically using fiber su certain fiber supplements, uh, then you can get some advantages there. Two fiber supplements that I think are really good. One is um, psyllium, like I already mentioned, and the other is, it's called alpha cyclodextrin. I like alpha cyclodextrin because another benefit of fiber, the benefits just go on and on. Another benefit is fiber absorbs calories you've already eaten and prevents them from being absorbed. So this is, again, and not only is it low in calories, but it even prevents other calories you've eaten from other foods from being absorbed in the body and then escorts them out of the body. So it actually lowers the calorie content of a meal when you consume fiber with your meal. Uh, so, so for example, alpha cyclodextrin can buy nine times its weight in dietary fat. So when I consume that with a meal that's high in fat, I'm gonna prevent a portion of that fat from being absorbed in my body and then that's gonna be excreted out the other end into the toilet. So if you consumed, you know, take, take uh, you know, um, 50 grams of fat, <clears throat> think for every one gram of alpha cyclodextrin, you can absorb about nine grams of fat. So you think about that, you take three or four grams of alpha cyclodextrin, that's like 20, 25, 26, 27, something like that, grams of fat that are not, or that are excreted and that's nine calories per gram. So think about that, 27 times nine, you're getting a big chunk of calories going out the other end. It can really be um, uh, helpful for weight loss. Alpha cyclodextrin in human clinical trials not only help uh, significantly with body weight, but improve blood sugar regulation uh, in diabetics. Uh, this is particular as far as insulin sensitivity. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're little, the little chewable. Um, they're the big chewable. Yeah, they're like minty yeah. capsules, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, the product that we usually tell people about is called Cow Reduce Selective Fat Binder. Um, yeah, so that's a good one. And alpha cyclodextrin comes in a lot of forms. We just like that one because it comes from the, 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 the form of alpha cyclodextrin. I think it's called FBCX is patented. And so it's, it's one of the ones that's been researched. And uh, that form is in Cow Reduce. So it's a, it's a pretty legit form. There are other companies that sell it, and I, when I was researching it, I found this was still the cheapest place to get it for the for the serving size, so it just saves money too. What about uh, the psyllium? Yeah. So how psyll much can you take psyll psyll psyllium, um, you want usually well. It, so with fiber, all of these fibers. Bear in mind that the uh, everybody's body is different depending on their their microbiome, their gut, their, you know, their existing microbiome, and then their their past history as far as how they've eaten. So if they've, if they've eaten a very low fiber diet for a long time, then they want to introduce small amounts of fiber gradually. So you're gonna, you really want to assess your tolerance. And so you might start off with like maybe a teaspoon of psyllium fiber, right? Uh, but after time, if you've really gotten adapted to fiber, you can tolerate a lot more. And the reason for this, remember, is that fiber swells, particularly soluble fiber. So it swells because it soaks up water and expands, like a, it gels. And so when you take fiber prior to a meal, what happens is it actually expands in the stomach and it makes it feel like you just got done eating a giant meal, right? So you have people will say, oh, I feel bloated. And I'm like, well, well that, how do you feel after you eat a giant meal? Bloated, right? Well, the only pro difference is that when you eat a giant meal loaded with calories and you're bloated, all those calories are gonna be absorbed. When you eat a high fiber meal and you're bloated, most of those calories are gonna go out the other end. So you're kind of, in a way, almost trying to make yourself feel somewhat bloated in the sense, you're making yourself feel full, right? So a small amount, you can work up to, you know, two, I, I, I know sometimes I'll do two or three tablespoons sometimes if I'm, you know, if I'm eating it before. Uh, I, I like to take this before um, meals that are really tempting or bad or unhealthy. So if you're gonna eat like a high fat, high sugar meal, um, if you hold the button on the end there, yeah. That would be a good time to time it. Uh, studies on psyllium, so there are actually quite a few studies on psyllium fiber as what's called a preload, a meal before a meal. And what the research showed was that when the fiber was consumed with a beverage that was low in calories, so the, total, the fiber and the beverage all along was you know, less than 20, 30 calories. You drink that prior to the meal, they showed that 15 to 20 minutes before your meal, there was a significant reduction in total meal intake. However, if you drank the fiber an hour, a half an hour before, it, it didn't have much of an effect at lowering how much you ate in the meal. So it makes sense that strategically, when you're trying to use psyllium as far as to help you eat less, you wanna do it while you're preparing the meal. So if you're about to eat dinner and you're getting stuff out on the table and whatnot, that's when you go to your sink, 
put some water in an old shaker bottle. I like to put in like a little stevia flavor pack. Or I, I, I right now I've been buying um, orange flavored stevia. It's used stevia to sweeten it. And it's just orange flavored, so it kind of tastes like tang. And then I'll put a couple scoops of that in my shaker bottle, shake it up, and then while I'm getting stuff ready for dinner, I'll just kind of chug that down. It's really important to drink lots of water with fiber for a few reasons. One is the water is what helps it expand, so you feel full. If you just, yeah, one guy told me, he's like, I'll just take a scoop of fiber and I just take it dry. I'm like, oh man, that's like, not only are you gonna probably choke and kill yourself, but you're essentially, you you know, you're, you're taking away almost all the benefits. You want it to be, you want it to be, filling but the other thing is is that fiber consumed dry increases uh the hardness of stools so you actually make yourself constipated by taking fiber dry you want water so that the stools get soft and so you have you, you basically have nice soft stools uh that are the right size or large stools soft not difficult to pass otherwise you're having um you know some di uh, digestive issue going on so um like I said, tons, I didn't even get into all the other reasons, but there are a ton of reasons why, like no other food, no other supplement, no other substance has so many benefits um, when it comes to weight loss. So that's fiber in a nutshell. Now where do you get the psyllium? Um, you can get this at almost any drugstore, as well as, they'll sell it at you know Rite Aid, Walmart, Wegmans, um, and they have a whole fiber section. Um, uh, well, there'll be like Metamucil, um, you know, but just check to make sure the active ingredient is psyllium. And then as a, as a caution, I like to try to avoid um, getting one artificial sweeteners like sucralose and stuff like that. So watch out for that or aspartame. Those are still commonly used in some of these fibers. And then also watch out for sucrose. So you'll see usually the two options you have are aspartame or sucrose, which is sucrose is table sugar. So, I mean, you're kind of defeating the purpose if you're taking a fiber and it's got a whole whopping load of sugar uh, along with it. So you either want to get it plain, just get plain uh, psyllium and get like your own little flavor packets. They sell those little water packets you pop in your water bottle. Yeah. Just pop one of them in there, shake it up and that tastes real good. Um, or specifically order, they now sell the natural um, like stevia flavored ones that taste pretty good. Uh, I think I might even have one in the other room if you want to see it. Uh, but those are nice because they're already flavored. Uh, they're like, you know, you can, get you can get different flavors. They also sell them like on Amazon, so you can order them online, and they sell lots of different flavors online. Um, and then you have it so it's, you know, more convenient to, to just kind of throw it in your bottle and shake it up. Thanks, You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, I get the, uh, well, I'll show you. I have it in here. I, I use this, the, the psyllium that is from Wegmans. They have a, they have a, oh, you got that?